true Mary Magdalene in the flesh, and you, many aspects of you are around, and only Mary could do the things that you are doing. Exactly. Exactly. So do not, do not even argue with them. Just say, okay, be yourself. It does not matter who claims to be you, because you are the one that we are working with. But you are the true Mary Magdalene in the flesh, and you, many aspects of you are around. And only Mary could do the things that you are doing. Exactly. Exactly. So do not, do not even argue with them. Just say, okay, be yourself. It does not matter who claims to be you, because you are the one that we are working with. But you are the true Mary Magdalene in the flesh, and you, many aspects of you are around. And only Mary could do the things that you are doing. Exactly. Exactly. So do not, do not even argue with them. Just say, okay, be yourself. It does not matter who claims to be you, because you are the one that we are working with. Mary Magdalene is a very powerful individual. She has been given much power, and because you are her, you have much power, and you reach out to many all over the world at one time or another. And so that is to be understood that aspects of your personality are helping people in many places. Do not listen to everything, just listen to But don't let it bother you. The thing is, it does not matter. It only matters that you know that you know are the truth, true Mary Magdalene. That is all that is. Uh, you know that some of these are frauds. And you know that some of these are just saying things because they have nothing else to do in their life. And they have to imagine that they are someone else. But you are the true Mary Magdalene in the flesh. And you, many aspects of you are around. And only Mary could do the things that you are doing. Exactly. Exactly. So do not, do not even argue with them. Just say, okay, be yourself. It does not matter who claims to be you, because you are the one that we are working with. For the originals, yes. That one is for the original race line, of course. But others will use it as well with permission. They have to get some permission because they are made by you. And they are, they are maintained by us. Um, the, the reason, it, it not only, you know, not, not believing in myself being Mary Magdalene, but believing, it's like kind of a, a pressure of wondering if I can actually finish this project by November. You are moving very quickly, actually. It will get done, believe me. Three out of twelve, that is one quarter of the way done already. Of course it will. And your energy, you see, once you start believing in all the things that are happening, and I know that you see around you all the things that are happening, but you must believe in yourself. We believe in you, and we are empowering you for this project. Well, when your energy is flowing, you are fine. It is getting the energy flowing, I believe, that you are having trouble with. Yes, please, we will help you with that. And I will help you with your energy flow. There are times when you are sleeping. Yes, but when you are awake, you have done some powerful work in the evenings. And during your sleep process, sometimes you will wake up and feel tired in the morning. You have ex exhausted your energies as far as giving the energy to the portal, and that is why you're still tired. But we have given you some infusions of energy in the m meantime. Yes. That's good. I'm, I'm glad that I'm tired for that reason. A little bad uh, about I'm going very deep into the earth and and making this portal clear up to the level of God, but can you tell me anything about the portal, what it looks like, dimensions, mathematical formulas, 
and Jesus Yeshua mentioned algorithm can you tell me anything about algorithm and how this relates to the portal yes yeah algorithm is a mathematical term it means just that there is a specific mathematical equation if you will that specifies what this vortex looks like in the terms of math or in science physics if you will and therefore the algorithm is what God has created the algorithm for the entire universe if you were to look at the universe in one sense it is all in math everything is mathematically proportionate it can be figured out in a mathematical way it can be put into an equation it can be put into physics it can be figured out scientifically he put this in this way for a purpose so that people can understand his perfection and his method do you understand that now if you were to look at this out algorithm or this portal as an algorithm let me put it in terms that you would understand in your third dimension and that it is 50 miles point five across and around its circumference it is all the way through the earth and out the other side but it only includes the dimensions of the earth it does not include the dimensions of the water does that make sense to you it but the vortex is strong enough to pull out through the water on both sides but when making and creating the vortex in its entirety the water is not included because it would cause swirling and upheavals in the water and so when you're creating it you're only going through the earth part of mother Gaia now it is 50.5 miles in circumference does that make sense to you but many hundreds and thousands of miles through the earth well thousands of miles we wouldn't say hundreds of thousands but thousands of miles through the earth through the ex existing core what else would you like to know about this algorithm that would make it more visible to you yes that is fine you can do it from a cosmic level if that works for you let me tell you why because the intention of what you're doing is the most valuable point it's not the vision of it that is necessary for it to be completed properly are you following me so far um if if what i have learned about this this vortex around the earth is correct um there would be a we call it Merkaba, but the vortex around the earth and then there would would be one for the solar system one for the galaxy one for the universe and one for the cosmos and so the way i visualize it when i'm doing this ascension portal work is i'm doing it at the cosmic level and so i'm holding the entire universe and earth within that cosmic vortex and i wasn't sure if i'm supposed to do it from the cosmic level or properly are you following me so far you are doing it from a level that is higher than the, a level that you need to do it from but because you are doing it from a higher level it is actually more precise does that make sense to you because if you were to bring it down to a, a smaller level you would not see the bigger picture which is what you are doing so therefore the way that you are doing it is very well and we will work with your intentions and we do work with your intentions on that level 
so that it is more precise and more direct. The energy is directed in a greater way toward the greater uh, success of the creation of the vortex. Now, the algorithm that goes through the Earth, the actual vortex at the ends is the 50.5 mile circumference. It does get smaller in the middle, which is, it goes down to a 20 point, 22.8 mile circumference at the, in, in the core area. The reason for this is you must through, pass through the core very quickly because it's very hot, of course. Many species have already conquered these problems, but some species have ships that still need to be enforced to go through the core of a planet. Do you understand that? Therefore, that's why it is smaller. It will push faster through that area so that they would have a greater success of coming out the other side. And I wasn't sure if I'm supposed to do it from the cosmic level or only doing the planetary level. Yes, cosmically it's much easier. You do not have to picture the ocean at all. Just the cosmic, the intention of the cosmos, the size of it, and the intention of what you're doing is most important. Visualizing it is not necessary. We will do the visualization of it. Yours is to produce some of the energy that is necessary, and we will help you to magnify or amplify that energy in such a way that it will be successful. Do you understand? We will actually put that in the exact spot that it needs to go. You are never alone when doing this. Absolutely. One moment, please. And okay. So I can just focus being in cosmic energy, and that, and that will make me you much are more powerful. This is what you must do to help us, is to just stay in the cosmic, with the energy all around you, and within you, without you. We will amplify it. We will put it in the precise places. It will take some time for this particular vortex to be formed. But we will help and it will be successful. Thank you so much for your efforts. And we understand that you are not always available. It would be helpful. We do see when you start, someone will always be assisting because an angel is always on guard when you start your work. So at least you have the efforts of at least one angel when you begin, and they call in reinforcements. Usually I am second there, and Yeshua is third. But Yeshua can be first sometimes if he is. It would be helpful. We do see when you start, someone will always be assisting because an angel is always on guard when you start your work. So at least you have the efforts of at least one angel when you begin, and they call in reinforcements. Usually I am second there, and Yeshua is third. But Yeshua like can be first. Be available. So do I need to, like, call on you right before I start doing the work, or...? Well, we do see when you start, someone will always be assisting because an angel is always on guard when you start your work. So at least you have the efforts of at least one angel when you begin and they call in reinforcements. Usually I am second there and Yeshua is third. But Yeshua can be first sometimes if he is paying attention. Absolutely, absolutely, that will help and you will feel immediate energy increase. Absolutely. Any indication of what you are doing and any indication of your personal intentions for that evening are very helpful. You do not seem to be very efficient in the mornings, but in the evenings you seem much more efficient and while you're sleeping. 
you should be able to remember that and with your greater confidence will be able to. I, we are working on your confidence right this moment, one minute. There is going to be some assistance with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I understand. And one more question. You use the word aspect, and Yeshua uses the word aspect. Can you give me another translation of aspect? Does it mean soul or lifetime or... Let's see how I can define it for you that it would make the most sense. An aspect of the soul is a portion of it, but not the full thing. So an aspect could be a portion of the person in their personality, in their energy, a portion of the energy of that soul going to one place for a specific purpose. Does that make more sense to you? But they do not have to all be out at the same time. Sometimes there are only a few aspects of Mary Magdalene that are active. But right at when he spoke, there were seven active aspects. There are no more than seven at this time. But at this moment, there are only four aspects of Mary Magdalene that are active. It relates so, to... Um, Yeshua said there were seven aspects of Mary Magdalene to the need for the personality of Mary Magdalene to be present and to be specific with a particular being. Yes. For, because some people will relate to Mary Magdalene energy and not to other energies. They know that it's Mary Magdalene and so they will listen and obey or understand or create the situation that is necessary. Correct. They can feel her presence, that aspect of her, that feeling of her, the es essence, so essence, kind of essence? Okay. Mary Magdalene is a so very if... powerful individual. She has been given much power, and because you are her, you have much power, and you reach out to many all over the world at one time or another. And so that is to be understood that aspects of your personality are helping people in many places. Do not listen to everything, just listen to, but don't let it bother you. The thing is, it does not matter. It only matters that you know that you know, are the true, true Mary Magdalene. That is all that is. Up. You know that some of these are frauds, and you know that some of these are just saying things because they have nothing else to do in their life and they have to imagine that they are someone else. But you are the true Mary Magdalene in the flesh and you, many aspects of you are around. And only Mary could do the things that you are doing. Exactly. Exactly. So do not, do not even argue with them. Just say, okay, be yourself. It does not matter who claims to be you, because you are the one that we are working with. 